We're about to hear from President Trump in the cabinet room making a lot of comments on all the issues of the day. Let's listen in as he talks now about the Mueller report and other issues. Let's listen. Trade's coming along well. We're having a big meeting this afternoon. I think you folks are going to be at it for a little while at least. Uh, the vice premier is here and lots of top people from China. They very much want to make a deal. We'll see what happens. It's got to be a good deal. It's got to be a good. It's got to be a great deal. It's got to be a great look. We've been losing over many years, four, five, six hundred billion dollars a year. We're losing. A few years ago, 200 routinely to China. We can't do that. We're going to turn it around. It's got to be a great deal. If it's not a great deal, we're not doing it. But it's going very well. Uh, top officials are here. And, uh, you know, we're very well along on the deal. It's a very complex deal. It's a very big deal. It's one of the biggest deals ever made, maybe the biggest deal ever made. It'll be uh, a great deal for our farmers. Uh, technology, intellectual, property theft. Everything is covered. There's not a thing that's not covered. We could have made a quickie, but we're in a very good position. Our economy is way up. China is not way up. And uh, we're uh, going to either make a very good deal or we're not going to make a deal at all. But I think it looks like the deal is moving along very nicely. So I think you're going to meet me and uh, we're going to say hello to the media for a little while sometime after 2 o'clock. Okay? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. A lot of good things are happening with Mexico. Mexico understands that uh, we're going to close the border or I'm going to tariff the cars. I'll do one or the other. And you probably start off with the tariffs. That'll be a very powerful incentive because Mexico has the strongest immigration laws anywhere in the world. Uh, they don't have courts like we do. We have a stupid system of courts. It's the craziest thing in the world. We could be the only country that has it. You put a foot on the property. You put a foot into the United States. Congratulations. Go get Perry Mason to represent you. You end up with a court case. And then they release you, and you come back four or five years later, but nobody comes back. Two percent come back. The not-so-smart ones come back. It's a, the most ridiculous system anyone's ever seen. And we have catch and release, and we have uh, chain migration, where somebody comes in and brings the whole family, bring them all, your grandparents, your brothers, your sisters, your cousins. The craziest thing I've ever seen, put in by Democrats. And the Democrats are going to straighten it out. And if they don't straighten it out, and I predicted this, I mean, I hate to see it, but at least I can say I was right. I told everybody, this is, you have a national emergency at our border. And nobody even talks about drugs, the drugs that are flowing in. So for the last four days, and you actually have covered it to a very minor extent, Mexico has been uh, capturing people and bringing them back to their countries at their southern border. They've been taking people under their very powerful laws. They have the right to do it. And they're bringing them back to where they came from. That's, pay, that's been about three days now, I guess, since, frankly, since they heard I was going to close the border. But before I close the border, if uh, Mexico and, — and we love Mexico, we love the country of Mexico, we have two problems. We have the fact that they allow people to pour in to our country. We have to stop them. Border Patrol has been incredible. ICE has been incredible. Law enforcement has been incredible. And the other problem is drugs. Massive amounts of — a large — most of the drugs, much of the drugs coming into our country come through the southern border in all different ways. Much of it where we don't have walls. The wall is under construction, by the way, large sections. We're going to be meeting, I think, on Friday at a piece of the wall that we've completed, a big piece. A lot of it's being built right now. A lot of it's being signed up right now by different contractors. It's moving along very nicely. But we need the wall. But we need lots of other things. So we need help from Mexico. If Mexico doesn't give the help, that's okay. We're going to tariff their cars coming into the United States. The other thing is because Mexico is such a big source of drugs. Unfortunately, unfortunately, now we have China sending fentanyl to Mexico so it can be delivered into the United States. It's not acceptable. So the second aspect of it is, which you haven't heard before, is that if the drugs don't stop, Mexico can stop them if they want. We're going to tariff the cars. The cars are very big. And if that doesn't work, we're going to close the border. 
But I think that'll work. That's massive numbers of dollars. So if we don't see uh, people apprehended and brought back to their countries, if we see these massive caravans coming up to our country right through Mexico, coming right through Mexico, like nothing. Buses are even given to them. The last three days, it hasn't happened since I said we're closing the border. The only thing, frankly, better but less drastic than closing the border is to tariff the cars coming in. And I will do it, just like you, you know I will do it. I don't play games. I'll do it. So we're doing it to stop people. We're going to give them a one-year warning. And if the drugs don't stop or largely stop, we're going to put tariffs on Mexico and products, in particular cars. The whole ball game is cars. It's the big ball game. With many countries, it's cars. And if that doesn't stop the drugs, we close the border. Because Mexico last year, and over for many years, just like China, except China numbers are even bigger. Uh, and I don't blame China, and I don't blame Mexico if they can get away with it. I blame the people that used to sit in this seat because they should have done something about it. And I'm not just talking about President Obama. I'm talking about many presidents. They should have done something about it. So if Mexico doesn't do what they can do very easily, apprehend these people coming in, and they can do it in a much more humane fashion, why should they walk up 2,000 miles and then be brought back? They can stop them right at their southern border, right where they come into Mexico. And they have unbelievable immigration laws where they have the right to do it. The most powerful in the world. As good as you can have. And they're going to do it. And if they don't do it, we're going to tax the cars. And if that doesn't work, we're going to close the borders. But we're also going to do something having to do with tariffs on drugs. Because not only are hundreds of thousands of lives a year being ruined in our country, but numbers of people are dying that you wouldn't believe. I mean, We'll lose one military personnel, and it's a front-page story. And yet, we have 100,000 people. People don't even know the number. They say 77,000. They say 72,000. Any number they give, you can guarantee to raise it. And if the drugs don't stop, we're going to put tariffs on. It also costs our country at least $500 million through our southern border. $500 billion. So we will put tariffs on if they don't apprehend. And ultimately, we're going to give a period of time. But if in a year from now, drugs continue to pour in, we're going to put tariffs on. Now, we have a deal, USMCA, it's all done. They're going to have to live with it, OK? They're going to have to live with it. I'm not trying to be unfair. They're going to have to live with it. The USMCA is a great deal for everybody. But this is more important to me than the USMCA. So they're going to have to live with it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Whatever. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you one thing, it's a great deal. They don't pass it as purely political. That's all. The USMCA, everybody wants to see it passed. But we'll see. Whatever they want to do is okay with me. Thank, Thank you.